Hi guys, so today I have managed to get the data myself, I've arranged for Abby to be looked after for them to go and do something, so I'm off on a new venue, um, I've been told it's good for lure fishing as though there's lots of pegs available, so I'm going to take the pike stuff and the perch stuff, so let's see how it goes. Well the first I've come, peg I've come to is this lovely little one, snags, lilies. And if I'm, I'm going to try this new rattler that I've got, it looks absolutely wild and uh, look forward to using it. I, am, I have asked for another one in a brighter colour because I do like seeing them. But to start with, I'm just going to have a cast here off the staging because there might be a pipe close in. And if I go on the staging, the vibrations might scare them off. So it's always worth having a cast close in first just to see if there's anything around here before getting a bit closer onto the staging now unfortunately you've just missed my first fish from here shot out from these lilies something going wrong with the gopro it just keeps going to photos for some reason but it took the flight brilliantly as I, as I, was, I was saying it's always a relief to not to blink Now unfortunately, with so many nice looking pegs on this stretch, I struggle to get any more takes or follows. But just look at some of these pegs. You'd expect pike to be lying either side of those lilies and attacking things that come down the middle. And this peg was really attractive. It sloped off quite quickly and went deep and was a nice still eddy. And I'm surprised I never got anything from that one in particular. And then there was plenty of ones with rushes uh, that could be ambush points or channels that you'd think they could shoot out from. And just look at this weir, slacks on the right and the left, which I couldn't get to the left. But you'd expect perch or even or pike to be in there, or even chub. This is a nice looking spot, you've got the fast water coming in. And then you've got a massive eddy here. Again, this would be a perfect place for dead baiting you'd expect pike to be holding up here got quite a bit of water to go at here but there is lots of sunken weed and that's uh i'll need to be careful with this hopefully maybe the fly might be better but to start with i'm just going to run this close to the surface and see if anything happens Read about really. Oh, there we go. Now it's the sign. Never too much reading this pike about. A nice, another little jack. Yay! Brilliant today. Nice little one. Just that kind of read and took it more or less on the surface. Absolutely stunning. There was some guys fishing here when I came, so I didn't get to fish this spot for the pike because it looks an ideal place for some pike around here. But let's see if we can get anything from here.
Hey, nice perch. Yeah, lovely river. There you go. Let's see if there's some more here. There we go, a little perch. Gorgeous colours. Oh, massive perch then. And do this frog weedless. Oh, that was a big perch. I don't know how. <coughs> Last chance for a fish, really, here. There's loads of weed over there, so I've just gone for the weed demon. Try and cover as much water. As we can. Spook something from the side there. Just landed right on it. So I'm just literally sitting under the tree, waiting for this rain to pass. Let's have a little cast just with this. See if I can just get something. It's been really, really hard today. Well, that felt like a tug. Oh, I see there was weed on it. No weed on it. <laughs> definitely something having a knock at it. So just try along this wall because. The wall's a feature, we've got lilies down here. Oops, not on the bloody wall. So you'd expect fish to be. Oh, there you go, perch straight away, look at that. And more perch behind it. Oh, it's starting to catch a couple. Oh. A beautiful sport. The perch are beauty. Let's try again. Let's see, cast on the side, let it drop in. Falls a fish. So try and do that again. There you go, cast on the side. There, drop in. And nothing this time by the looks of it. Okay, I'm just walking along the side, making the most of this wall. There's a little perch. A 
Lovely fish. Beauty. So I think that's the most disappointing session I've ever had, or at least had for a very long time. After all the planning and preparation that went into it, making sure I had someone to look after abs, and that I booked them in to do an activity so they weren't just sitting at home. And then the travel down there, it took me about an hour to get down there, and I don't particularly like long drives on a motorway, and like 50 minutes is usually enough for me, but it's hard to find a day ticket place on a river with pegs to fish from. And when I found this one, and the river looked lovely, lots of pegs to fish from, uh, a lot of nice looking holding pegs as well, you know, you go into the peg thinking, well, there could be a pike down the side there and that, but uh, just to get two pike and five perch in the end, even on the micro stuff, I was expecting a lot more from that. Was well, quite disappointing. And to top it up, when you lose a new lure, and one that you can't just go to the shop and replace, I hate losing, losing lures, but it happens, I didn't see the snag that it went into, and unfortunately you lost it, but another one's on its way. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, so disappointing, but we'll brush ourselves off and go again next time. So until next time, fingers crossed for a better session, tight lines.